so I like to consider myself a relatively happy person and I always try to look on the bright side of things and laugh when I can. But I haven't always been so optimistic, happy and fulfilled with life. And the reason I tell you this is because I'm going to be telling you the five most important life lessons that has helped me live a happier life that I wish someone had told me as a teenager as I was growing up. As I share these experiences with you today, I want you to really pay attention. So in that way, you do not need to go through the years and years of pain, struggle and unhappiness that I went through. And you can just bypass all of that if you listen closely. I've got a couple of notes written down and honestly, I'm just gonna go for it and speak from my heart. Enjoy the sunshine in the rain. The first thing that you have to understand is that you can enjoy everything absolutely everything. There is no greater feeling than feeling happy, and I believe it's one of the many reasons which makes life beautiful. Enjoying the little things is always something I like to repeat to myself. And what I mean by that is whatever I'm currently doing in the day, I'm trying to do with a smile on my face. Learning to just be grateful is all you need to instantly feel better. Whenever you're eating, you can be grateful for the food on your plate. Whenever you go to bed at night, be grateful that you have somewhere so peaceful to rest in. And whenever you really don't want to go to school, or work. Be grateful that you have access to this opportunity because somewhere, some place in the world, there will be someone who would give anything to be in your position right now. There will be a day coming where you will have a good reason to be upset. Either something bad will happen to you or someone you love won't be here anymore. That's one of the harsh guarantees of life but it's what also makes it so precious and meaningful. There is no point in feeling sad right now. You will have a reason soon enough. So why are you doing it now? Honesty feels so refreshing. In today's world, you'll see so many lies and so much deceit, no matter how little. What I found through my experience is that being completely honest is the best way to live. I can't tell you how much time has been saved by simply just speaking the truth. Now don't get me wrong, I don't mean for you to be super blunt and speak all of your thoughts all of the time. It's about finding the delicate balance between transparency and empathy. It's about being mindful of how our words may affect others while staying true to ourselves. It's actually something you can practice. It's about choosing the right words at the right time, being authentic without being hurtful, and allows open communication in our relationships. The beautiful thing is that you don't have to be perfect to be honest. It thrives on being sincere, and genuine intention, which makes life so much more enjoyable. Embracing honesty is crucial in everything you will ever do in this world. I've heard it described as being a compass which always points true north. It keeps you grounded in your values and helps you navigate through whatever problem is in front of you. When we choose honesty, we not only build trust with others, but with ourselves as well. I've spoken to dishonest people and honest people. And I can say that hearing the truth feels so refreshing. When we embrace honesty, we invite others to do the same. We create spaces where vulnerability is celebrated, mistakes are acknowledged, and growth is nurtured. Honesty becomes a cornerstone of genuine human connection and happiness. A life lesson that you should learn. Focus on what you can control. If we can't control the world, external events, or other people, what is left in our control? To answer this, I want to read an extract from a popular philosopher which goes something like this. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Two things which we have absolute control over are our thoughts and actions. We can't control the world around us, but we can control how we respond to it. It's inevitable that things will happen in life that we can't control, but it's up to us to decide how we feel about them. I found that the more I remind myself of this, the less stress and anxiety I feel. It becomes easier to invest all of this wasted energy and effort into becoming the person we want to be, but it all starts with you inside your head. Your brain is amazing and it can make you believe things which frequently changes your emotions. We are such emotionally reactive beings and even the slightest inconvenience can ruin our entire day. I want to remind you that you are in control of your emotions and no one else. If we pretend that we're happy, then we will be because that is what happiness is. I'll give you an example. Say one day you've been at work or school the entire day and you get home two hours later than usual, extremely tired and exhausted. You have two options. You can either say, I hate my life, feel bad for yourself, and then be depressed for the rest of the night. Or you can try to smile, be happy that you got home safely, and are still able to make some time for yourself 
by cooking a lovely dinner and then watching a wholesome movie. There will always be these two types of people in the world. Make sure you're more like the second one. You only have one body. I don't think many of you truly appreciate the importance of prioritizing your mental and physical health into living a happier life. In particular, I want to talk about diet, exercise, and self-esteem. You are what you eat. If I gave you a plant and said to you that if you keep this plant alive for 10 years, you could have anything your heart desires, what would you do to take care of your plant? Well, I'm sure you'd keep it somewhere safe and warm, but you'd also remember to water it and give it the most nutritious soil. This is no different to us. We only have one body for our entire lifetime, so we should try to take really good care of it. We can do this by eating a nutritious diet. Replace the junk food and make sure you get enough carbohydrate, protein and of course your fruit and veg. As you fix your diet you'll feel like you have more energy so we can make use of that through regular exercise. From this new lifestyle you'll already feel so much better than before. Your self-image will improve as you realize that it's not only fun but you're investing in long-term happiness and improving your quality of life. As I've changed my own diet and I now have a regular exercise routine I can say with full confidence that my life has drastically improved. It's hard to explain, but you just feel better. It feels like you're always accomplishing something. It gives your life more purpose and you always have something to strive towards. I've never once heard someone say that improving their diet or physical health was a bad idea. So if you know you've been inconsistent with this, then what else are you waiting for? Who actually cares? One lesson I learned way too late is that no one actually cares about what you do. Do you remember the last time you saw someone in public do something really embarrassing? Well, neither can I. I think that being able to choose when you don't care is a superpower in itself. There's this thing called the spotlight effect, which magnifies our perception of being under constant judgment from others, when in reality, people are often way too preoccupied worrying about their own concerns. I'm sure there's been so many points in your life where you've chosen not to do something because you think it's embarrassing and you're afraid of being judged by a certain group of people. Well, I'm here to tell you that no one really cares about you and your life. By simply asking yourself, who cares? you immediately release this built up pressure and anxiety. You're actually able to focus now on what you want to do and focus on your own enjoyment. Who cares what other people think? Just focus on yourself and you'll be happy. The sooner you realize that no one really cares, the sooner you're free to get your life back together. Don't let anything or anyone stop you from doing what you want to do. Life is so precious and we often don't realize it until it's too late. Make sure you cherish every moment you can and be happy because if you don't live a happy life, then what's the point? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.